London has so many lines, it's amazing. And they sell you them for an exorbitant amount of price and you pay them because you're a tourist. It's like riding a bike, it'll come back to you eventually. The best part is you have this stunning Hogwarts S Natural History Museum, which you can go in if you want, but I'm here for a good time, not a learning time. And the Christmas tree, and we came in the evening, even though it's like four o'clock, because all the trees light up. However, I've overestimated my ice skating ability, so we're going very slow. It's fun. I actually think you're more confident than I am, so I'm just gonna go and you can find me. Okay, I'll find you. <laughs> it's Christmas time of year. Our families by the fire. Snuggle up like bunnies in the snow. It's Christmas. Christmas. Little birds are singing like a choir. Winter chill is nipping at your nose I've been waiting all year for this Grab your cocoa and the remnant So how I love when Christmas comes around We survived! We survived! So we are done, um, it was very fun, I'm happy we finally got to do it So we originally came on the weekend and it was actually booked out for five hours and it was like the next one was at like nine o'clock at night and I'm a grandma, I wasn't about to do that. So highly recommend pre-booking your tickets. Yeah, that, the hardest thing was the kids falling over and you're like, please don't hit me. But I did find my feet in the end. It's like riding a bike, it all comes back to you eventually. It cost us, I think it was 19 pounds, yeah? Uh, 17 pounds. Yeah, there's peak and off peak. We paid 17 pounds and we came on a Tuesday afternoon night. <laughs> Um, so, very fun if you're going to do it, if you're only going to do one ice skating rink, this is a very cool one to do because it's just so pretty. Um, but they also have photos and they sell you them for an exorbitant amount of price and you pay them because you're a tourist. <laughs> so we got a nice photo of us together because we never get nice photos together. There's a whole different price scheme for photos, but it's here if you want it. Or you can bring your own camera and I also got video and snaps of my own. Um, but if there's any couples watching, you know, it's really hard to get photos together that are nice. So it's always good to get them like this sometimes. But now, while we're in the city at night and it's not raining for the first time today, we thought we're going to go on a little excursion and look at some Christmas lights before we head back home. Because the Christmas lights in London are unreal and I just want to do them, see them all and capture them all to show everyone how amazing they are. And it's free after paying too much money for the photo and gaming. So we wanted to do a winter walk through central London, seeing all the Christmas lights. Um, today's a really good day because it's a weeknight and it's been raining all day so there's hardly any people which is the dream. Lights and there are people. So we've started in Covent Garden which is one of my favourite places. It has a big tree, lots of decorations and yeah, so we're going to go explore. I'll hang stockings by the fire to peppermint cane out the cupboard. Yeah, look at these seats. <laughs> box full of lights. So much more we've left to discover. Ribbons all entangled in the garland. Mistletoe and angels' wings. Might be here for a little bit, but darling, if it's with you, it's okay with me. Oh, do you know what's got me feeling fine? It's the two of us and Christmas time. There ain't nothing else that brings us to life. Why like ringing bells and Christmas time? They don't, they don't, they don't, they they don't, they don't, Outside, caroling quiet, snow is lined around the wind. London has so many lines, it's amazing. My 
different place, it's actually Seven Dials, which is only a, we'll call it a rose petal toss, this is the theatre, from Covent Garden. So you can actually, like, we're doing this whole thing on foot, so we're walking the whole thing, but you can really see how close it is. And I think it's underrated. This one never comes up on the list, and it's my fave. have walked from Leicester Square and now we have come to Regent Street which is the piece of resistance this is the thing everyone comes to London to see it is the angels um, they sparkle all the way up and down and all the way up to Oxford Street Station so that's where we're headed and you can check out all of the nice window displays along the way so it's a nice walk Just off Regent Street is Carnaby Street, which I really love. It's maybe my favorite light installation because it is made from recycled plastics and it's a statement about um, single-use plastics on the environment. Being Australian and having a great rivalry at home. So I like it a lot. Everything from the globe behind me is even made from like squashed down plastic bottles. It's amazing and it looks really cool. So our last stop of the evening is Oxford Street. We've walked up Regents, through Carnaby, onto Oxford. Just for the reference, I have done 4,000 steps and I've hit up Seven Dials, Covent Garden, Regent Street, Oxford Street, Carnaby Street, everything <laughs> in only 4,000 steps. It's such a good idea. It's free, it's such a nice night. You see all the pretty lights, get in the festive spirit. I'm gonna put a map down below. Um, I'm gonna put a map down below of all the places we went in case you want to do it too because it's fun and easy and a good way to see London. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my little festive date night doing some Christmas lights and ice skating. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are the Christmas lights better where you are? <laughs> Unlikely. London's pretty great. Um, and yeah. When do the Christmas lights finish in London? January, I think. January. I think ice skating's on to January as well. Ice skating's on to January. January. Yeah, got a piece of time. I would do this on Christmas Day if you want to do a big walk because <laughs> the trains don't work. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below which where's better. Should I check out more lights? Have I missed some because there's so many? And subscribe so I can see you next time and you can see what we do for our actual Christmas. It's exciting. Thanks for watching. Bye.